Do you know every year half a million people visit UK from India as a tourist, but around 20,000 visa applications get refused? Most common reason is incorrect documents or lack of evidence. This is Dr. Khan and welcome to my channel, UK Knowledge Guru. Today I will provide you complete guidance on UK visitor visa application from India. And I will answer all your questions in your mind regarding the visa application. And after watching this video, you will be able to apply this visa without a solicitor or any immigration consultant. So without wasting time, let's start. In this video, I will answer all these questions. What is UK visitor visa? Where are the UK visa offices in India? What happens at the visa application center in India? What to bring with you if you are visiting application support center? What to bring with you if you are visiting premium application support center? What you can do on UK visit visa? What you cannot do on visit visa? What are the eligibility requirements from India? When you can apply this visa from India? What are the VFS global premium services in India? How much UK visitor visa cost from India? How much super priority visa cost? How much priority visa cost? How to apply visa application? Can I submit one application for all the family members? What information you need at the time of application for UK visitor visa? What documents you need to apply for UK visitor visa? How much bank balance required for this visa? How long it takes to get the decision? Can I extend my stay after six months? on UK visitor visa. So let's start with the first question. What is UK visitor visa? You can visit the UK as a standard visitor for tourism, business, study. You can do the course only up to six months. If you wanted to study more than six months, then you have to apply for a separate visa category. You can usually stay in the UK for up to six months. You might be able to stay longer in certain circumstances. For example, if you're going for a medical treatment, now let's discuss the second question. Where are the UK visa offices in India? So there are too many offices in India and some of them have different timings. So what I have done at the end of the video, you will see all the addresses of the locations. So for example, Ahmedabad, you will see this address, you will see the location and the same way you will see for every single location at the end of the video. Let's discuss the second question. What happens at the visa application center? So please arrive before 15 minutes of your appointment time. You must attend the appointment for your visa application. You cannot send someone else. Please bring your valid passport, travel documents, at least one page that is blank on both sides. At the visa application center, you will need to submit your fingerprints and photograph. This is known as biometric information. Ensure your fingertips are free from any form of decoration, cuts, for example, mehindi, etc. You can upload your documents yourself after booking your appointment or bring your supporting documents and use documents scanning service at the visa application center. If you have purchased or plan to use document scanning service or the visa application center, then make sure you bring them in sequence and the qualities of the document should be correct. What to bring with you when you visiting application support center? You must bring your VFS global, the confirmation letter, which was your appointment confirmation letter. So you need to print out that and bring it with you. A valid passport, you do not need to bring anything additional as your appointment is for biometric only. So they will be only asking you to come for the biometric. That's it. Now let's discuss what about the premium application center. Print out of the application confirming letter. That's what you need. Same like the previous one. Valid passport, travel documents, supporting documents. The location you have chosen includes document scanning service. So this is the place where you can go along with your documents and you can scan them and you can submit them over there. 
what you can do on UK visit visa. So on this visa, you can go for our tourism, you can go for a holiday, you can see your family, you can meet your friends, etc. You can do some voluntary registry work for up to 30 days. Um, you can do certain business activities, for example, attending meetings, interviews. You can go for part of school exchange program. You can also study for exams and all that. But what you cannot do on UK visit visa is like you can't get paid over there. You can't claim public benefits. You can't claim any pensions, etc. Live in the UK for a long period of time. You can't do that or get married or anything. If you wanted to marry someone, you need to apply for spouse visa. Now let's discuss what is the eligibility requirement. So your eligibility requirement, you must have a valid passport to enter in the country. You must show that you will leave the UK at the end of your trip. You will be able to support yourself and dependents if they are coming with you. If anyone is funding, you need to show the proof of that. You are able to pay for your return and onward journey. So for example, if you're traveling US or anywhere else, you should have that much enough funds in your account to travel further. Let's discuss when you can apply this visa. So you can earliest apply three months before your travel plan. What are the VFS global premium services in India? So inside india you have like all these locations for the vf global center you visit them and you pay them extra for these kind of services for example gold premium package you pay 5950 indian rupees premium lounge you pay extra 3750 rupees courier service 675 sms photocopying so what i recommend is if you're applying it first time then go for document scanning assistance. Do that because that will help. Or go for the digital application submission because then they can submit your application over there uh, if you're applying it first time. But if you have experience and you can do everything yourself, on fair ground, you don't need anything apart from SMS because that will help you when you're in the courier service so you don't lose your passport. How much UK visitor visa cost? So a standard visitor visa costs 100 rupees for up to six months. Two year long visa costs 376 rupees for six months. Uh, let me correct that over here. Two years doesn't mean that you can stay for two years. You have to leave within six months and then you can come back in two years time again for six months. And same way you have five years visa and 10 years visa for five years is 670. And for 10 years is 837 pounds. The cheapest one is six months visa, which is 100 pound only. How much super priority visa cost? Get a visa decision by the end of the next working day, not available in these cities. And it will cost you Indian rupees 103,719 rupee. How much priority visa is cost? So priority visa service is another service which is not available in Lucknow and Mysur and it will cost you 27,123. How to apply for UK visa application? So you will apply that on gov.uk website and it's straightforward. Do not follow any link or any website for this. Only follow gov.uk. And if you have to submit the VAF website, VAF global website, follow it from the link provided by the gov.uk. Can I submit one application for all family members? If you are applying with family members, each person must have their own application and pay the fees. They need to attend their own appointment at the visa application center. You can apply on behalf of your partner and child if they cannot apply for themselves. What information you need at the time of application for UK visitor visa? The dates you are planning to travel to the UK, you must know that. Where you will be staying during your visit, how much you think your trip will cost, your current home address and how long you lived there, your parents' names and dates of birth. 
how much you earn in the year if you have an income all your bank statements and all that detail of any criminal activity or offenses you had what information you need at the time of application uk visitor visa so details of your travel history for the past 10 years where you've been if you've been outside uk or wherever you've been uh, outside india etc your employer's address and telephone number your partner's name date of birth passport number the name and address of anyone paying your trip the name and address and the passport number of any family members you have in the uk a certified provide like a tb certificate if you are visiting more than six months what documents you need uh, you need further bank statements the recommendation is one year because if you have one year then it will help you to identify where the money is coming from it will easy it will be easily identified by the visa officer credit card statements driving license education certificates evidence of your car ownership personal photograph uh, this is a very contradict question that personal photograph they want to know that if you showing them that you have family in your india and you they want assurance that you will come back to india so for example if you have grandkids and other kids so just these kind of pictures will help business cards hotel booking flight booking photocopies of your bank cards certificates of relating to leisure activities why they need that is because they wanted to know that you have enough social activities within india and you will return to india travel insurance sponsor utility bill that's required so they can make sure that the address is correct and all that sponsor council tax bills um, people don't know what council tax is in india council tax is basically for gas and electric um, for water and sewerage and all that we pay so that's what the council tax bill is you may be asked to provide additional information by the decision maker this is the visa website visa.vfsglobal.com but like i said follow the gov.uk website whatever link gov.uk gave you go to that link okay so how much bank balance required for uk visitor visa uh, total savings must be at least twice your proposed uk trip so for example you think that you will spend 2000 pound you should have 4000 pound in your bank you must submit six months of bank statement that clearly shows your monthly salary and financial commitments um, but as i said i recommend one year there must be any large deposit so for example if you sold your car and if there is any large deposit then you need to provide the proof of it so whatever money is coming in your bank you need to provide the proof so for the money laundering purpose how long it takes to get a decision you will usually get a decision on your visa within three weeks. You will get an email or a letter containing the decision on your application. Can I extend my stay after six months? Yes, you can extend your stay um, after six months. You can only apply for a six months visa. That's what you will get, but you will only extend if you have a medical treatment or anything which is going on, for example, your, your going for the exams or something for that purpose you can extend your visa apart from that you need to leave the country within six months otherwise you won't get the visa for next time and how much it costs if you wanted to extend your visa it will cost you one thousand pound to extend your visa as a standard visit if you have any questions regarding uk visitor visa from india feel free to ask and i'll get back to you